Hey folks, welcome back. This is the third in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the higher physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the second half of the aerodynamic universe topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side, and then the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. We start by looking at the definition for projectile motion. And this is the curved path taken by a projectile due to its constant horizontal velocity and constant vertical acceleration. Remember, it's these two factors that give a projectile its curved path. Next, we have a satellite. And a satellite is a special type of projectile that follows a circular orbit due to its constant horizontal velocity and constant vertical acceleration. So again, we see these two factors that are necessary for projectile motion. Moving on we have free fall, and free fall is the movement of any object under the influence of gravity alone. So if you think about a skydiver jumping out of a plane for example, they are said to be in free fall because they are only experiencing the force due to gravity. Next we have Einstein's postulates, and these are two postulates that you need to know. The first one is that the laws of physics are the same for two observers moving at constant speed relative to one another. And the second one is that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers. So you should remember that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Next we have time dilation for special relativity. And this is the apparent increase in time of an event for an object moving relative to an observer. And the clue to help you remember that the time will increase is this word dilation which just means to get bigger. So if your pupils dilate for example they get bigger. So this means time gets bigger or longer or in other words time slows down. Remember you also get an equation for time dilation on your relationship sheet. Moving on we have length contraction for special relativity, and this is the apparent decrease in length of an object moving relative to an observer. And the clue to help you remember that this is a decrease in length is this word contraction. So remember if something contracts it gets smaller, for example a metal when you cool it down will contract in length. And remember there's also an equation for length contraction on your relationship sheet. Next we have the Doppler effect, and this is the change in frequency observed when a source of sound or light waves moves relative to an observer. You should also be able to use the equation for Doppler effect in terms of the frequency of the observer and the frequency of the source. Related to the Doppler effect is redshift, and this is when light from stars or galaxies that are moving away from us is shifted to longer, i.e. redder, wavelengths. And remember this doesn't mean that the light necessarily becomes red, it just means that it moves towards the red end of the visible spectrum. And redshift is an example of the Doppler effect for light. Next we have Hubble's Law, and this says that the recessional velocities of distant galaxies are directly proportional to their distance from us. In other words, the galaxies that are a greater distance away from us should be travelling at greater recessional velocities than the galaxies closer to us. And Hubble's Law allows us to estimate the age of the universe, which remember is about 14 billion years old or 13.8 billion years old to be more precise. Next we have dark matter, and this accounts for the observation of unusually high orbital speeds of stars on the outer arms of galaxies. It is thought to make up around 22% of all matter in the universe. And lastly we have dark energy. Dark energy accounts for the observation that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. It is thought to make up around 74% of all matter in the universe. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.